Hey guys, long time no see. I have actually haven't recorded a video in a little bit over two weeks now. Even though you guys still got videos while I was on vacation, I did not record anything uh, the weekend. I went away and the weekend I came back. As you may have noticed, I did not reach my goal while I was in Aruba and I'm really sad about that, but I still have till the end of September to finish this whole sketchbook. So I definitely think that'll still happen. It's just gonna be a bit longer than I initially thought. And I'm gonna have to probably bust my butt to finish, but that's fine. I really needed the relaxation and I also need to spend some time with family that I haven't seen since mid-April. That was more important to me at the time. I still plan on doing some artwork based on a lot of the videos and pictures I got from Aruba. At the end of this video, I'll put a little clip of some footage from the trip I took. So without further ado, I thought, well, I had this thought actually before I went on vacation. I wanted to do a spread dedicated to Olivia Newton-John. I want to do this because Grease was definitely one of my favorite videos. I first saw it when I was in fifth grade. I actually had a karaoke slash Grease showing for my birthday that year. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the movie and I do love Olivia Newton-John. I know she was a big advocate for those of us suffering with breast cancer. And by us, I mean humans because men can get breast cancer too. I have a lot of breast cancer in my family and a lot of it has uh, been in recent years, unfortunately. It's a big risk for my mother and a lot of the women in my family that are her generation. So it's definitely a cause near and dear to my heart and the fact that she ended up fighting for so long with breast cancer and then ultimately losing her battle to it just really tugs on my heartstrings so I wanted to do a spread for her. I mean most of them are probably gonna be of Sandy because I just that's how I know Olivia Newton-John. I know she's famous for other things too but that's how I knew her. I'm gonna get my Pinterest board up because I pinned quite a few images of her when I decide this is what I wanted to do. And let's get to it. So I'll put links in the description to the photos I um, use as reference for these drawings. If that's something you guys want to see. I don't know what it is with me and choosing curly hair to draw because as we all know, I cannot draw curly hair for the life of me. I'm thinking I might take one of these sketches to make a finished piece because it's something I would really enjoy doing and posting onto Instagram. We'll see how this goes before I pick one because I don't expect all these to look good. I mean, they're not going to. That's okay. Need more neck. And the color kind of comes up here and cuts off and then start doing her eyes, which I'm honestly scared. I mean, she looks really creepy right now, but hopefully. As we, oh my god, her teeth are scary. Well, she has teeth now. <laughs> Can you tell I'm just avoiding the eyes? <laughs> yeah, no, let's not do that just yet. Nice that circle for the most part. I think going on. Might not look like Olivia Newton John, but that's who it's supposed to be. We can appreciate the effort that I'm putting forward. Right, you guys can appreciate the effort that I'm putting forward. I'm kind of getting some Olivia Newton vibes from this, just a little bit. I mean, she could be much better, but as I said, I'll be happy with the vibes. I'm getting a little bit of Joker vibes, but hopefully once she has some hair, it won't be as bad. So I'm curious as to what kind of TV shows you guys are watching these days. Just curious because I myself have been very into Great British Bake Off, The Great British Bake Off. You can watch it on um, Netflix. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a very popular show. And I've been enjoying it thoroughly. I, unfortunately, I don't have like the first like four seasons of the show on Netflix. And I'm one of those people that likes to watch things in order. So for me, that is truly upsetting because I just want to watch my show in order. 
and I can't, and I can't find it anywhere except for like on PBS and I'm not paying for another subscription service. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, so I have, I'm on the finale of the fifth season and in, if you guys haven't watched it, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna maybe spoil, oh, no, maybe I won't spoil. I won't give names. I was very shocked when they were down to, they were making a cut for the fourth. So like right before, I guess the semi-finale. And I can't believe they got rid of who they got rid of. I thought the, uh, like this other, it was a guy. I guess it is a little spoilery, but basically they got rid of this guy who I thought up to this point was doing a fantastic job, like absolutely smashing it. I thought he's been doing a great, great job and i thought this other person i'm not naming names and i love i love them don't get me wrong i like i want the best for these people i always want the best for these people unless they're like really cocky then i kind of get a little upset at that person and i don't think they deserve it as much as some of these other people i was very very upset that they kicked him off because like he was winning he was Star Baker. And even when he wasn't Star Baker, he was close to being Star Baker. So I just don't understand why they they got rid of him, especially because you know he impressed the judges quite a few times. Again, I thought this other person wasn't doing as well. Like she was consistently not in the bottom, but just barely above the bottom too. I would say in like most of the the episodes. And I mean, the last couple episodes I've been watching her, she's like been doing, oh, I just gave away her gender. Well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, if you know who I'm talking about, I would love to hear your point of view on this because this is upsetting me because I feel like he didn't deserve to go and yet they kicked him off. As much as I love baking myself, I like I, that's one of my other hobbies. I could never, ever go on this show. Like I would be, I just, I don't know, like I would be so freaking stressed out so stressed out. The, I feel for these people. I do. I really feel for these people. Like a couple of the episodes, like I was like, these people are failing because the weather is bad. It was 104 degrees Fahrenheit in one episode. And this, you know, there, everything was melting. Everything was melting. Like a lot of patisserie and stuff like that. You need cold. They were doing laminated doughs in that episode. If you know anything about laminated doughs, and I've made croissants, I've made a couple batches of croissants myself you need it to be cold I don't know like I just feel like they were being the judges were being a little too harsh but I mean Paul Hollywood did bring up a point about like how he he had worked in 50 degree centigrade temperatures before like doing patisserie and he's like oh I was wearing a short and I'm like okay okay but you're you're a prof I, I guess he could have been an amateur at the time I don't know but they're they're professionals like I mean they're not professionals and they're on a TV show and they're basically trying to win something as amateur bakers and this guy he's being trained by like probably the best people in the business you know and like I think it's Paul Hollywood I love Paul Hollywood but I just don't think he was the judging was very fair in the sense that these people aren't used to this they have air conditioning you know where they're practicing all this at home and then now they're in a tent in the summer in Britain, and of course it's hot. Are you guys getting Olivia Newton-John vibes? I have no idea. Like, I feel like it's somewhat her, and I think the hair will help once I get the hair up. I don't know. Is she just creepy to you guys? Maybe she's creepy to you guys. Like, I definitely see some mistakes, but as you know, this, I mean, this is just a, this is a sketch. Her cheek should be bigger, like up here, and then like, kind of do that but like maybe not that big so yeah tell me about what you guys are watching because i'm curious and if you've seen the great british bake off specifically season five tell me if you agree with me if you know who i'm talking about oh my god i fail at drawing ears i hate ears ears curly hair can add hands to my weaknesses too that looks like a crater that doesn't look like an ear this is as good as it's gonna get my friends because no more the ear. Pretty happy with how the face is turning out. Alright, now I'm gonna do the hair. I never know how to like section hair. And she has like a curl that comes here. She put kind of there. Why did Sandy have to go for the curly hair at the end? Like I get that that's the time period but still. Hair going on like that. And then going like that. And another curl. Here. I hate when I surrender to what I think I see instead of what I actually see. Out of this thing, another curl, kind of almost like that. I don't know what's going on there. We don't know what's going on. I 
make a master class. Someone should at least on how to draw curly hair. I take it. I'm kind of taking a little bit artistic license with drawing her, the rest of her hair because I just think it looks a little silly without some lines in her hair and this hair is curly kind of hair. It's just freaking frizzy. You know what? It kind of looks like her. I know you guys tell me in, down in the comments if you think this looks like her. I think it does. And you guys might think it doesn't. And that's perfectly fine. Just don't tell me that. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I'm getting better at drawing curls. Which is always nice. So I'm curious, how do you guys know of Olivia Newton John, if you know of her? I know she's famous for obviously her role in, as Sandy in, uh, in Greece. Which, as much as I love that movie, I hate how, like, it kind of, like, how she changed for him. Like, no offense, but Danny is, like, not a good character. <laughs> At least in my opinion. <laughs> if he really liked her, it, I mean really liked her, he wouldn't have treated her, like, the way he did. And, I don't know, do you think Danny was a good boyfriend to her? I don't think he was. I guess maybe that's his behavior was acceptable back then. I don't know. I don't think it should ever be acceptable personally, but I wouldn't change myself for someone like that. You know, she uh, she obviously really liked him. And I mean, a younger me probably did some behavior like that, but like, I'm not that way anymore. I am not that desperate. Do I think their relationship would have lasted? after the movie. No, I'll be quite honest, no, especially with his behavior and him caring so much about how he appears to like his friends. And I just don't see that lasting. You don't change yourself that much for a guy. Like she was smoking cigarettes at the end of the movie, which that in itself is not good for you. I don't know. That's why my aunt's name is Sandy. And then people used to like sing that song um, that Danny sings in the movie at the um, drive-in, forget what it's called the guys would actually sing that at her. I would be mortified, like mortified. They're here because this will probably be the last drawing today because it's already getting kind of long. So I went through a lot of detail with that one. And, um, I'm getting tired, it's 10 at night. You know what? I'm gonna move this so you guys get more. It kind of looks like her. I mean, it looks a little, I'm looking at the camera. Kind of doesn't, but you know. <laughs> do the best we can. Do the best we can. Her neck should do something like that. Got her shoulder. Very small shoulders. You know, her hair makes her look like she has a bigger head. But really, her head's probably this much. This is all hair. Her head's probably actually like that. Yeah, maybe not quite that, but yeah, we can fix that. I wish I could play Grease music for this, but I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted. I kind of exaggerated it a little bit. And why did I do this to myself? My elbow kind of comes off the screen, so I can't really. No, I can't really see how the elbow goes. I don't really want to play guessing game. But and I'm already hating all my life decisions with this one, but that's what we're going for the lips. It's not gonna look great, but I'm going with it because I kind of cut it too. And then her hand kind of makes this like, I can't draw hands, so I'm gonna try. The problem is, is I drew this too small. I'm terrible at drawing like super small things. I mean, it's not my worst hand, but I've drawn worse hands. And this is something I think we should all do as artists. Normally, see, I would see this and be like, mm, I'm gonna quit. Cause it looks freaking, cause it looks just, it looks like crap to me. But sometimes you have to draw the ugly drawing. Let the ugly drawing be what it is, you know? That arm looks freaking terrible. Committed to this, you know? I hate this drawing so far. Other great thing about not quitting is you can kind of work it I mean obviously to the best of your ability and you also kind of learn where your weaknesses lie and you say okay well at least I drew it you know because you're not going to get better at something if you don't if you just avoid it I was that person that drew you know all their hands like behind like their arms would always end up behind their back because I just couldn't stand how like I just couldn't stand drawing hands because they always came out bad and 
thing is you can't do that because now I, you know, five years, 10 years later, I'm still bad at hands because I never practiced. That just, it's a good thing. And it's a thing I regret. I was avoiding drawing people for a long time. Like whenever I painted like all those years that like I haven't really been painting, I, whenever I did paint, I, um, I did dogs because I was just like, I can't draw people. So I'm not gonna do that. But then I avoided drawing people, which isn't a good thing. And as you can see, like, it is not always my strong suit. I mean, that kind of looks like Sandy. I'm okay at portraits. It's when you start asking me to do body parts that I'm just kind of like, ooh, when you asking me to do these things, you know? As I said, do the best you can. And it's a sketchbook too. It's the other thing. It's not supposed to be, like I'm not supposed to be doing Picasso kind of work. I mean, I, I never would do Picasso kind of work because I'm not Picasso. The sketchbook is, it's made to, to practice. It's for your art practice. And as I said, I'm not a perfect, like her hand, I think is probably way too big. You know, I'm never gonna get any better if I hide behind things because I'm too scared to draw them. Give her some neons. Her hand is definitely too big for her. And I think I want to challenge you guys to do the same. Like, do that drawing you've always wanted to do. And if it doesn't come out okay, it doesn't come out okay. As I said, it's not the end of the world. You can draw ugly things. You can even share ugly drawings of things. That's fine. That's okay. You're supposed to draw ugly things once in a while. Earring is supposed to be way thinner. I probably drew it too dark to go back and fix it. Oh, see, I just surprised myself. I fixed it. Look at that. I just said I couldn't, and I did. That just goes to show you. I don't think that you can't do things. The only way you're gonna get better at something is if you keep trying. Like, I'm gonna draw this ear now. I don't like drawing ears. Ears scare the crap out of me, but I'm gonna do it. I wanna be able to draw ears one day. I don't know what I'm doing with the shadowing here. It's not the best. This is a sketch in my sketchbook. And while I am sharing this with you, you guys don't have to share this with people. I'm just at a point where I really, I mean, I do care what you guys think, but not enough to keep me from drawing. Look, I'm still avoiding drawing the ear. It'll be drawn. I just don't do it right now. And you know what? I'm getting to a place now with this sketch too, where I don't hate it as much as I initially did. So that's why I say you should always push because you never know. You still might like the end result. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I guess we do the ear. You guys are screaming at me for the other side of the screen to do the ear. But I won't like it. I mean, the process. I don't know how I feel about the ear until I'm done with it. Not last year. But I tried. All that matters. I should really do some ear studies. That'd be a good thing to do. But if you guys know who Kelsey Rodriguez is, she's doing like a study challenge for the month of September, which I would do if I had time. <laughs> but if you guys have time and the patience, I would highly suggest I'll put a link down to her Instagram because she advertised it there. I don't think she, I don't know if she advertised it on YouTube. I haven't been very active as far as like watching YouTube videos, like the people I follow because I was on vacation, which now that I'm back, I can definitely catch up. This is why I hate curly hair because I'm just becoming like this. Now what's on here? How does this hair work kind of thing? I think for a sketch, this really isn't that bad, bad at all. Here I was about to give up on it. You see, you see what happens? And you just kind of persevere a little bit. Lean into that uncomfortableness. It's like therapy. You lean into the uncomfortableness a little bit. And then sometimes you get something beautiful. I will put a link in the description down below to um, a charity that I myself will also be donating a little bit of money to. Things are kind of tight this upcoming month uh, money-wise for me, but I still will put some money towards the cause. I know Olivia Newton-John has some sort of foundation so maybe we can i can put that in the description box i know it benefits um breast cancer you know research and well, i don't know if it does research but i do know the money goes towards you know the fight against breast cancer whether it goes to people who are currently fighting it or um people who are in the future going to fight it or i don't know if it does money towards research i'll have to do some reading myself as far as um what the actual funds go towards. So I'll put that in the description box below. Definitely give this video a like if you enjoyed it, if you liked 
watching me draw two drawings that were more detailed than I intended to, to go with, but I ended up making them pretty detailed, of Olivia and john If you were saddened by her loss or if you grew up watching Grease or listening to her music or maybe your parents really enjoyed her stuff, please consider donating. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. I put out videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you hit the bell, you will always get a notification when a video goes live. And that's gonna be it guys, that's a wrap. I'll see you Saturday with another video. Thanks for watching.